Shannon Sharp is leaving undisputed. And I understand exactly why. Disrespect has to stop. Hear me out. Make sure you like. Make sure you subscribe. YFM Sports. So it just got reported last night that Shannon Sharp will be leaving Undisputed with Skip Bayless, one of the best debate shows of all time. And it seems like he's leaving right after the finals. So if the Heat win 4-0, which probably ain't going to happen, but Denver might win 4-0. If whatever happens, the show, he's leaving the show. So it begs the question of why. Well, if you folks remember last year, man, during the NFL season, they had a lot of shit going on. It was a lot of arguments that Skip and Shannon had. And it really focused on the disrespect of being like what happened with DeMar Hamlin and people feeling that Skip Bayless was insensitive to his response. I don't personally agree. I felt like his words got misconstrued, but a lot of NFL players, a lot of current and retired players, and Shannon himself, they felt like his comments was disrespectful and wasn't didn't have enough sensitivity for the moment. I can understand why motherfuckers would feel that way. So that's reason one. Reason two was I think that the debate started to get a little bit too personal. When you look at that Tom Brady debate. And he was just like, you're just jealous because Tom Brady is so much better than you at an older age. That was some disrespectful personal shit. And like Skip, I don't know why he'd be caking so hard for Tom. I know Tom is considered goatish. We all consider him like NFL goat. But you don't have to say disrespectful shit like that. But this is a debate show. So sometimes debates do get very sensitive. It does get personal. I don't know about y'all, but when y'all debating your homeboys and shit like that, sometimes things get said that shouldn't get said as borderline. Either you're going to scrap it out or you're just going to walk away and just let it go. And the third reason per reports is that <laughs> for some reason, Shannon wasn't getting any creative control. He wasn't able to pick the debate topics. He wasn't able to lead off with debate topics that he wanted to have he felt like skip was just like this is my show get your own shit so that's what he's doing so he got to buy out he's leaving after the finals i hope my personal opinion is that shannon either gets his own show there he got his own podcast which is dope you know club shay shay if you haven't checked it out it's bomb either he's gonna get his own show or he might go to espn and start debating <laughs> Stephen a smith but I know that Skip did sign a contract extension last year, so he's still going to be on FS1 unless he gets a buyout as well. But I know FS1 is not going to let him go. So we'll see exactly what happens. I mean, maybe, you know, I don't know who could debate him. In the comments, let me know who y'all think should join Skip's Undisputed now that he's going to be by himself. Who is going to join? I don't know. There's a lot of talent on FS1. So let me know in the comments. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. The world of sports media is changing. 